This is a, it's a djembe, African drum. Um, it's my baby, I love it. And uh, I play it like a doom back a lot, which is an Arabic drum, looks like this. You know. Um, but the style's fun, you got more bass tone on this. And I like Arabic rhythms a lot too. Um, might take me a little while to It's a beautiful thing because you have like sometimes at points you'll have like 50 people that'll be in synchronicity with one you know one another and it's like every every sound and rhythm is distinguishable by it, by the way you're perceiving it in that space and time and it's like you know you look up and there's people dancing on stilts and there's people you know spinning fire and there's people dancing having a good time and it seems like well you know this is a celebration of life it's a great it's a good thing that happens I think it's been going on since uh, 1967 or something like that. This, this metal has a reputation from the 60s. Uh, Janis Joplin, I think, saying right, right where we're standing. I think she, I'm not kidding. I, I swear to God, I, I was there. Sorry, Janis. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> they quit having yeah. that kind of music here, but this is a historical hippie hill. That's hippie hill. Probably went on and off, on and off since 1967, basically. A long time ago, the the Harley Davidson bikers used to like hang out here. The um, the right, right. This is a long time ago, and there was drummers and bikers together on the same hill. relationships um, as I say like, I know uh, for instance this one guy who plays uh, he's been playing for like 30 years he plays sax and doing back in the flute he's an amazing percussionist and uh, you know those kinds of experiences can only happen in, in that kind of environment you know because most most times musicians of that stature seem to be kind of unapproachable you know you see them in concert or you see them like this there or whatever but you know, if they're sitting there and you bum a cigarette from them, you know, you start playing a rhythm with them, and you know, it's cool. Um, you can learn a lot. You know, it's kind of like a place where you can interact with people you wouldn't normally do that with. You know, so.
own reasons, but also to heal together. And this is my chance to, to uh, uh, find joy with my friends and eat brownies and play various drums. San Francisco is a character city. Where I'm from in Israel, people lived in the kibbutzim, which is communes. That's where the hippie idea is part of communism and socialism. And the people in Israel took it as socialism to gather themselves. People lived in free ideas, no, no hard capitalism. Everybody can have their opinion and ideas. Same thing here. When you play drums, you express yourself. Rhythm is as intrinsic as a heartbeat, you know, so like, you know, whether you're listening to uh, some kind of construction device, you're going to hear a rhythm that's going to be coming over the sound waves, you know, and you'll respond to it, you know, whether consciously or subconsciously, whatever. But, um, you know, rhythms everywhere. So, like, being a part of, of an organized rhythm, or experiencing that kind of uh, that thing where it's like a purely human, consciously uh, focused rhythm. You know, and you can you can add to that, and it becomes like a, a sound conversation of some kind. different things and uh, some are gifted to um, do like high finance or something like that and they should be downtown behind a computer with a tie on on a hot day they should be worrying about the Dow Jones that's cool I mean I, that's wonderful I rely on the the downtown because I, I work as a pianist and I go down there and I play at, at expensive restaurants and I'm around that and the advent of the cell phone is really bizarre because I'll be playing the piano and somebody will come up right next to me and make a cell phone call and I'm, I'm only hearing one end of the conversation and it's, you know, uh, but I, I don't know, you have to have an open mind to everything, you know. There's not much free celebration left in life, you know, we're usually spending a lot of money to go out to bars or clubs or whatever, you know, uh, this, that, and the other, and it's like you have to equate having a good time and spending a lot of money, you know. I go out there, I buy a bottle of water and smoke a spliff, and I'm pretty entertained, you know, and it's really good. You see all kinds of people, like, you know, it's a wonderful thing. Thank <laughs> you.
Introduce you to the trees. You like to meet the trees? The trees. This tree here. This was a tree here. This was, yeah. So, 